Hi everyone, it's Maria from Maria Space. I'm here with a whole lot of products that I want to show to you in one video. I have Handsome and Goddess with me. And um, anyway, the first thing we have here is Kids Relief, which is a product that we received for allergies. I have two kids who have really bad allergies. This thing says two plus. Um, it supposedly tastes like banana. I didn't taste that, but the kids seem to not be bothered by it. It also has, um, it relieves nasal congestion and itchy, watery eyes for teary eyes. Um, I can tell you that it comes in a dropper form. So here's the product. It comes in a dropper. It comes with the dropper, and it comes, we actually have one open, but I'm showing you. It comes with the dropper. Here's the bottle. You just put the dropper in the bottle. Once this comes off, then you now have your dropper. You just fill it up to the line based on the child's age, and they have allergy relief. I could tell you that this does not work for my kids, but I can tell you that it works. I gave it out to the brownie troop that my daughter is a part of, and the brownie moms are swearing by this. This is a all-natural homeopathic, and a lot of those moms are into all of that kind of stuff. They look and read into every ingredient. Um, there's one who told me she gave it to her son, Victor, and he is four years old, and he will not take medication. She has trouble giving it to him. He has no problem taking this, and she says it really does help him. There's another mom who gave it to Katie, who talks about itchy eyes. No problem at all, but um, if you look back at one of my prior posts, you'll see pictures of my kids with their allergies. This doesn't work for them. Their allergies are severe. They actually need doctor-prescribed medication. Okay, moving on. So, the next product we have here is this really cool caddy. It's a flatware caddy. You guys see it? We like it. We like this this beveled glass. It's really pretty. This nice stainless steel bottom. Um, you can see that utensils are supposed to go in here. Um, we plan on using it in the bathroom because of how pretty it is. We think it's going to be great for our hairbrushes and combs and scissors and things like that. It's going to be on the sink in my bathroom. It's um, pretty sturdy. All plastic. Nice bottom. I'm not worried about rust with this thing. And um, I guess, and it says brush stainless steel, kitchen sink. This is great for napkins, silverware, if you're going out having a picnic or something. I plan on using it in the bathroom. This shaker bottle, Rubbermaid, um, I don't think you can go wrong with Rubbermaid products ever. This shaker bottle right here is different because it has this really cool shaker ball in it. So when you have protein shakes or things don't make, mix up very well, um, you put your drinks in here, this little shaker ball, as you're shaking things up, it'll shake up, break down the product, um, break it all down, break down the powder, and then you open the top for drinking. As you can see, real easy for cleaning. There we go. And this is your little strap if you need to hang it on something. I think this product is great, and the guy at the gym that I work with, the um, instructor, the guy who owns the gym, tells me that mixing protein shakes is very difficult. My husband swears that mixing protein shakes, he's got it patented down now with his actual shake, so he's not looking to use this bottle. But the guy at the gym is begging me to bring it in so that he can try it out because he says his protein shakes are always powdery, and he's dying to try this. The next product that we received is this makeup primer spray. Um, by Skindiniva, and I actually have a problem saying this. I've reviewed something for them in the past. This is a primer spray that you put on before you put on your makeup. It goes on nice and clean, and I've used it twice. I actually like the way it feels on my skin, period. I, um, I'll write more about this product in the post. I uh, just wanted you to see the bottle. It also has a sample bottle for carrying in your purse or wherever. The next product that I'm really excited about because I tried one of them already is these Special K Moment Bars. Um, nice little snack from Special K. I appreciate things like this because I love candy certain times of the month. I particularly need something sweet or any day. I actually like chocolate. These right here are Special K. You can't go wrong with Special K. It's actually one of my favorite cereals. So um, this is the Indulgent Bites. This is Dreamy Coconut. 
And this one here is Caramel Pretzel Bliss. I haven't tried this one yet. <clears throat> but anyway, I am opening it now so that you can... It smells really good. So you can kind of check it out. You want to try it? <laughs> so here's the bar. You can see it's kind of bite-sized. It's pretty much going to take her about three bites, I guess. And it's good. It's caramel. I don't know if you're on camera. Is it good? Yum, yum. I don't know. You don't want to try it, right? No? No. Might be holding your nose. Okay. <laughs> it is good, right? Yeah. You want the rest? There you go. Alrighty. <laughs> this product right here is <laughs> is open wide. It's a really cute book. It's scholastic. And there's a free plane inside, just so we know. We want to know what Sam is going to eat for dinner. And he's going to open wide for his parents. So, it's a story about baby Sam and his parents. And them trying to get him to eat. Doing all kinds of things. And if you have kids, you know that you've done it too. You know you have. At the back of the book. At the back of the book, there's a plane that you can put your spoon in. See it right there. And Sam will eat what his parents put on the spoon. So... A little punch out plane story about Sam and how they're running out of gas and they just can't feed him. And Sam, we don't have all night. How about some apples? And so they're doing all the tricks that we do to get the kids to eat. And there's your plane with little holes for your spoon. Very cute book. Next book is, <coughs> I'm sorry, how to write a book. Basically, it's how to write your memoir in 30 days. And it's written by Roberta. Teams, Tems, I don't know, I'm really terrible with names. And she gives a nice breakdown on how to put together your your book, your memoir. <clears throat> so each page of the book has samples. On day one, it gives you a breakdown of what you should do. Day two talks about the memoir is not an autobiography. You're basically writing your memories. It, it tells you everything. On every day, there is something for you to do. And in 30 days, you should have a nice memoir. So there's, um, identify the values that you grew up with. Day 11, sample. Patricia's purpose in writing her memoir is to show what she went through to achieve prominence in the art world. Her milestones were graduating from art school, giving birth, giving birth to twins, um, getting a divorce, yada yada. Basically, it's just a nice, easy way of putting your memoir down and if you wanted to do it day by day I think this is the way to write because I wasn't going to when I first took this on thinking you know I'm just gonna read it but step-by-step -step instructions makes it really easy and it's something I've always wanted to do so I might do that okay the next thing we have is this puppy stars light and sound wallscape and <clears throat> this right here is by um, Uncle Milton. Uncle Milton. We get a lot of yeah. toys from Uncle Milton. We have torch on my wall. We have rainbow in my room. We have moon phases that you go up on the wall. We have a lot of Uncle Milton toys. This right here is a way to decorate your room. And this is called Puppy Stars. It says bring your walls to life. And there's a button here. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is rainbow in my room. And this is a torch in my room. Thank you. <laughs> so over here we have lights and sound, little flash bulbs of dogs marking and flash bulb sounds because the dogs are on the red carpet. Okay, so when you open the box, there's this right here, which rolls out all of the puppies that you can put on your wall. I don't know how much of that is in the camera because I really can't see. But anyway, this is the puppies that could go up on your wall. So, anyway, these are the puppies that go up on your wall. These right here come right off the page. They're not sticky. They stick on your wall. They stick on your wall. And they come right off the wall. Go ahead, take it off. There you go. Okay. And they come right off. All right. So that's the stars. And then over here is the little light sensor. Alright. Oh, 
Yes, I'm enjoying the music. Are you? Yeah. Enjoying music. <laughs> Puppy music. <laughs> okay. Here, so hold this up. Put him up. Put his head up. We don't want him lying down. Okay. There we go. He's up there. I'll set them up while you're doing the video. There you go. There's your puppy stars. Move, buddy. <laughs> more puppies are going to get in. All right, more puppies are going to get in there. All right, so let me move on. So there's our puppy stars. And then our last but not least item, and I know I rushed through because honestly, I'm not sure if people really want to see a very long video about products. I can go back to each one, but I mean, it's not a genius to see that, uh, okay, nice, smooth. I don't really know what else to say about the products other than show you them. I'm sure there is someone who could do a video that's 15 minutes long on this. That's just wasteful. You don't have the time for that. Okay, the next thing we have is this foldable bamboo table. Okay, why do we need a foldable bamboo table? Well, I do an awful lot of bedtime reading. I do a lot of laptop and I do a lot of Kindle in my bed while watching TV at the end of the night after the kids go to bed. And I wanted to see if there was a better way for me to get more work done. So, opening up this box, you can see here's the table, all very protected in its bubble wrap. And it's kind of taped. I guess that's the bamboos. Here's the table. Here's the bottom of it. That's the legs that are going to fold out. Here's a little drawer. Alrighty. This is the first time I'm opening it, so I hope it won't hurt myself. Here's a leg. Here's a leg. There's the table. Here's a drawer. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. That's for here. So I'll sh I gotta line it up perfectly. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here we go. There's a drawer. Obviously, this is the back end of it. So, flipping it around. Okay. Yeah. And you can pretty much see, right now it looks really high. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not on a bed and it's on the table. But, anyway, there's different levels for you to put. And you can go all the way down if you need to rest your book further down, or if your laptop, or it's actually a nice height for you. Yeah, and this is not going to become a handsome goddess snack dinner table in their room. It's mine. <laughs> you so here's the table. We fold it all up and plop it down right next to me. And I guess you have something going on behind me that I haven't seen. Let me see. Not ready yet. Uh, that's good though. It's like um, hard to get them all in the in the picture. Yeah. There's so many of them. Still going. Where do I put this guy? On top of his head. All right, that's fine. Can't really get it on camera. That's okay. Because it was on try me. I got in. A little bit of applause. 